welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay and today I have a very special video. I have been getting so many comments and people wanting to know about the custom dolls that I create and that I kind of do. So I decided that I'm going to do a couple in this video and kind of go through it with you. I wanted to show you two of my newest dolls um, and as you can see these are the Barbie style dolls. They look very different don't they? Absolutely because my daughter has re- um, done their hair in a different color, which I absolutely love as you know The petite doll came in the ponytails and it was kind of like a burgundy color and now she's got this bluish purplish kind of hair that I've put up in a bun Absolutely love her, but you can see how the eyes like it just gives her a whole different transformation and definitely a whole different look and This doll had beautiful curly red hair and now she's got this beautiful blue absolutely so my daughter does an amazing job with redoing my doll hair i have another doll that she also did that i've shown in a previous video where she gave her red hair and you'll see her in a minute because i'm going to be doing a slight transformation with ariel um so let's go ahead and get started i want to get into this because i think it's super you know my channel is so much about rebodying dolls because I like articulation in dolls as you can see these dolls are totally articulated so that's one of the things that I kind of make sure that I do is give the dolls articulation I'm gonna take these girls down because we're gonna be looking at a couple of other dolls um, and restyling and redoing some things and you'll see these girls a little bit later I've got to do some hair and um, you know with them but I wanted to show you what an amazing job that my daughter does when it comes down to rebodying. Um, she does my rebodies and she also does the hair on the dolls as well. So I like, I commission her, right? So one of the things that I showed everybody was like, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I totally bought this entire huge set of Disney dolls. And one of the things that I like about the Disney brand is they look totally different, right? So let me grab it so I can just remind everyone of what I was talking about. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to be doing with this set, this is actually the Disney set. So remember you have Mattel's line of these dolls, princess dolls, and then you have Disney's line. And this is the set that I bought from JCPenney's and I got it for um, $78. It was regular 100 and I think 140 something dollars and I got it on Black Friday. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to be rebodying these dolls with made to move bodies and you'll be seeing me do that transformation um, as soon as possible. Okay, so just wanted to show you that so you know that where I'm coming from. So these dolls are my Disney ones, but I also purchased a Jasmine doll. So this is how the Disney version looks, but I want to show you the transformation I did with a Mattel doll. Okay, so here we have the I've already these already my daughter rebodied them, but I'm going to start with a fresh rebody in a moment. So here you have this was this doll on this articulated body, and then this was the body that the Mattel Jasmine had, right? So as you can see, this doll, you know, five points of articulation. She only really came with these pants. Um that can be taken off and everything else is molded plastic. I wasn't a fan of this Barbie's sculpt and this is a Fashionista doll. So I was really ready to change and this is a perfect skin match um, for this particular doll. So this is the, um, not the yellow top, but the yoga top doll that has the purple yoga top, the African American and the skin tone matched completely. Okay, so here you see now that I have an articulated Jasmine, but this is the Jasmine that is for um, Mattel. So this is our Mattel Jasmine. Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing, so now I have an articulated doll, I can dress her, I can do a whole lot with her, which I am going to change her into a Jasmine outfit from our IOY dolls. And that's really what I'm going to do with a lot of our Disney dolls is to change them and give them a whole new look. Okay, so that's, that's the beautiful part. So now I can get rid of this. And what I do with these kind of dolls is I donate them. To be honest with you for kids you know that don't have dolls and things like that that I'm not going to use because I don't really have dolls that are not articulated so let's go ahead and get started let me put these to the side 
and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be rebodying today. So today I was able to find this Holiday Barbie and she's absolutely beautiful, okay? I love her because she's got the freckles on her face and she almost reminds me of a Holiday Brooklyn, and I wanna say this might be the Brooklyn doll as a Holiday Barbie because when you look at her face, they really do match, okay? So it could be a Holiday Brooklyn, but I fell in love with her. But as you can see, Brooklyn comes, um, with a just a posable body so let me get her out the box and we'll get started okay so now we have our beautiful i'm just going to call her brooklyn our beautiful brooklyn doll and just to kind of show you how she looks out of the box the dress is absolutely gorgeous i'm just using my stand but she does come with the stand okay um and so she's got beautiful earrings so that i'm excited about that because a lot of the new accessories that we have with the fashion packs that we just got from um uh our what is that the mini fashions um you know i want dolls to have earrings but look at her face go i think that's brooklyn look at this the um freckles on her face she reminds me she comes with these beautiful red shoes okay absolutely love them now i'm going to switch her out but i want you guys to remember that i don't want to keep her like this just as she's articulated i want to have fun with this gorgeous doll right so with that, I am going to utilize the Made to Move um, Yellow Top Barbie that is going to be her skin tone match. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and switch her out um, and give her an articulated body. So hold one moment while we do this drastic change. Okay, and so now we have an articulated doll. As you can see, she has her made to move body and she's still wearing her beautiful gown. So I'm gonna make sure that I do some changes as we have some new fashions coming in lately, but she definitely would be on the list of our beautiful dolls. As you can see, she's got the red shoes on and now she is posable and bendable. I love it. Okay, I also wanted to go back and show you Jasmine. So what I did for Jasmine was I put her in the second wave of the ILY um, doll um, clothing. So this is Jasmine's clothing from ILY. Now she has a made to move body so you know those shoes do not fit our dolls, right? So what I did was I, you know, used everything else. Jasmine doesn't have any earrings, but I'm thinking I might have my daughter put some earring holes in so that these dolls can start... Um, utilizing earrings stuff just fell in the back please excuse that um so that she can you utilize all of the um pieces that came with these ioy sets and remember i said that's what i'm trying to do is put the actual dolls with the ioy set so you can see she's got on the beautiful peacock dress i paired it with a pair of pretty gold heels she's got the beautiful um beautiful uh what is this purse that came with it she still has her headband on and i just went ahead and untook took her hair out of you know the way they had it pinned up um and i'm going to play around with it even more but this is our beautiful jasmine doll that i've rebodied and redone i love her okay let's get to our next doll okay so i'm simply excited i'm absolutely loving and i'm doing a three-way a three-way means that we're getting ready to do three dolls in a whole different way. It'll end up being two dolls. But yeah, I, I'm I'm loving it. So first things first, I found this Barbie the movie doll. And I wanted her to be a plus-size Barbie. And I wanted her to be African-American. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, so I am going to definitely change some clothing so that our beautiful yeah, I can see her doing it, um, can give me that aesthetic that I'm looking, uh-oh, give me the aesthetic that I'm looking for. Why don't I just keep my dolls on the doll stand and then I won't have these problems and issues, right? Um, but I also have a couple of um, this Barbie mold, right? I forgot the young lady's name. And I wanted to give her a curvy look as well. I am very much into the curvy dolls. So I found on Amazon, as I showed you guys before, they were on sale, the Barbie Looks dolls. So I am going to be doing a makeover takeover. So what that means is I want to give her her body and her face so that I don't have the same doll. Because I have a couple of the Barbie Looks um, dolls that are number 16. And... Although she's a beautiful face sculpt, we're just going to switch them out. I'm going to give her a smaller look because I have her as a thicker doll. And I'm going to give her a plus size look. So let's go. 
we're doing a three-way. Okay, and I did it. So excited. I made my a curvy plus size African American um Barbie. I absolutely love it. Everything fits. So that lets you know. Okay, some of the outfits still fit the curvy girls. Loving it. And the only thing that I did change, like these earrings were so super hard to get out of Barbie. And they really literally could not go into this doll. So I just was like, forget it. I'm not going to worry about it. So our first reveal, she looks amazing and she can skate. Absolutely love it. I like when I do stuff like this because, um, you know, I am a huge fan of our Melanated Sisters. And so you will see me recreate, okay, some of the things that I would like to see um, look Melanated. So I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. So let me show you how I switched to my other girls because remember, this was a three-way Okay, so now we have our two girls that we switched. Let me know, what do you think? So this is Margaret Robbie as a thicker girl. I like her. I mean, I'm really excited about the face sculpt. I'm definitely gonna redo her hair because remember, I just took her out of the other um, outfit. So you've got some hard, you know, the hair is kind of hard and like supposed to be kind of like, I guess two little pieces hanging down. But I, once I finish giving her, you know, a new makeover and a new outfit, she'll definitely, I think, be one of my favorite girls i love it um and then i love the fact that now this doll is a little slimmer she has an articulated body not a made to move body but i love it the only thing i'm not happy with is the fact that she has flat feet but i'll deal with it but she still looks absolutely great okay so i'm all about articulation so super happy that i was able to make these two girls um articulated dolls and now i have a different doll i'm so on our dolls having different face sculpts and looking different and dressing different and not coming in their original packages so let's get to our next doll that we're going to do a little transformation on okay so my next doll that i picked up and i got her at ross for 9.99 i think i showed her in a previous video when i showed you guys my doll haul was the Barbie Rewind doll. And this is like one of my favorites because it's from the 80s and that's where I, you know, that's around the time period I was, you know, in this world. So I definitely wanted to remake her. She has some articulation, as you can see, only in the arms though. I need to like the snap and bend knees and all the rest of that, but I'm nostalgic and I want one of my dolls to have an 80s look, but have a 90s, oh, excuse me, a 2023 body. Um, so I did find um, this doll on Amazon on sale. I think I got it for $13. I have another one. So I'm just looking for body doubles and that's what I was buying was body doubles. So let's go ahead and see if these two can become a perfect match. Okay, so I now have an articulated um, Christy. Um, Barbie Rewind doll or if she's Christy or not. Now, let me say this. So the skin tone color was not like a perfect match, okay? But I feel like it kind of complemented. It could kind of, you know, go a little bit. The um, Barbie style doll, I mean Barbie looks doll is a little bit darker in her skin tone and then she was lighter, but I liked it anyway. So I'm keeping her like this. She's giving me like a teenage vibe because she is short. And where's my other one that I have? So I can kind of tell if this doll is a short doll. So no, she see, so she's a little taller than our regular, you know, shorter doll. Um, but she definitely um, is still cute and could be like a, you know, junior high, senior in high school if you wanted her to look like because her face kind of gives you that young girl she's definitely not like an older barbie and i just love it like this and she's the barbie rewind doll so i'm super happy that i have her um but now she's shorter because she took this doll's body and then she became taller so i absolutely love it the dolls look great to me and we have one more switcheroo that we're going to do so hold on oh you know what i forgot to show you guys with that barbie rewind comes this set so you get a TV, I've got like an old school telephone, a water bottle, cassette tape. I mean, it's really retro and super cute. So I'm definitely going to use this in a dollhouse. 
Last but not least, I have the Aereo Disney 100 Retro Reimagined doll. I fell in love with this doll so much, you guys. She is Aereo. She looks amazing. I'm going to definitely get her out of the box so we can look at her totally. But I am going to be giving her a totally new outfit change and letting one of our other redheads see how she can rock the same Aereo look. So let's go ahead and get her out of the box and we'll start there. Okay, so here is our beautiful Ariel doll. Love her beautiful red hair. Love her hair bow in her hair. Absolutely gorgeous. She's got this beautiful dress on that has um, lace underneath it, kind of like with the Doyle, I forgot what it's called, like a pataloon, I guess. I love the leather um, holtz, like the um, corset. And then she's got this beautiful um, silk, or it feels silk, um, shirt, off the shoulder shirt, but she looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited because I'm going to change up, and Ariel is actually articulated, guys. I want you guys to know. She bends at the knee, she can bend at her arm. Um, so she's got some articulation here. So I'm super happy about that, so I don't have to do any changing for her. She can actually keep um, keep that and I am going to change her into um, one of the Ariel inspired IOY sets that I had so she gets to have a whole different city girl look um, and then we're going to change over our other redhead doll to an Ariel look so I'm excited about our transformation let's get into it Okay, so now we're back and we have both dolls completely changed. I absolutely love it. Um, not my best when it comes down to the IOI doll pack for this doll, but what's crazy about it is she can fit the shoes, she can fit you know everything, so it's almost like having an IOI inspired doll, um, but an actual aerial IOI inspired doll. So as you can see, she has the outfit on. She looks really good in it, and she looks very playful. I love the fact that everything fit. I mean, the outfit. I just, I'm not, you know, I wish they could have gave Ariel something a little different. Um, but that's the cool thing about IOY is that there's tons and tons of fun packs that I can dress her in. But this is the Ariel inspired one and just kind of wanted to give her that aesthetic. Um, I am also in love with how I have redone um, our Barbie. Okay, and she has the beautiful red hair and she has Ariel's outfit on and I absolutely love it. I could not, she couldn't wear Ariel's shoes because of course they are a lot bigger, but um, I did find a pair of older red heels and they're just perfect because of the red in the bottom part of the skirt, as you can see. So it kind of hits there um, and it kind of gave you that older in the 60s, 60s, 50s kind of looked. Um, or even 40s from back then. I don't know when Ariel that time period might have been for her, but she looks absolutely gorgeous and I'm so glad I was able to remake this doll um, the way that I wanted her to look for me. And I gave Ariel a great new look. I love her face. Um, she's really retro and she's one of my favorite dolls. And I absolutely can't wait to remake the Disney version of Ariel that I do have. I'm um, going to be rebodying her as well and giving her a great new look. So you guys, this has been so interesting. We we looked at a lot of dolls today. This was a long video for me. Um, it, I know when I put it together, it won't be long, but we did a lot, right? So we've got um, a lot of doll swaps that we did today. We paired some different dolls with different bodies and I'm loving everything that we were able to put out. But let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite um, and what type of dolls you would like to see us do some rebodying on. Um, and also if you're not a subscriber of this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of this content. Hit the bell so that you can always see when I'm posting something and if you have any suggestions, I'm always open to it. And always hit the like button if you like this. I think this was really fun and super cute. I'm always trying to recreate and redo. And let me know how you like the hair colors of the dolls. Like I'm switching it up a little bit. We're looking at some things that are um, not the exact same, but I think we, I look at like we're building the doll, right? So we're going to um, decide and pick her out and make her look exactly how we want her to look because that's what our doll collecting is all about. Okay, you guys, it's been fun. Have an amazing day. And as usual, thank you for watching. Brooklyn's Barbie Bay.
Goodbye.